here before, right? Yes. I visited this place numerous times during the journey of world regeneration. We had an incident with a monster called Windmaster who was posing as the summoned spirit of wind. Do you think any monsters will show up now? Oh, don't worry. We defeated Windmaster. Oh, okay. Are you frightened, Emil? Not a chance. He just can't help but feel sorry for his opponents, no matter what they might be. You were thinking it'd be better for the monsters if you didn't have to fight them, right? You're so sweet, Emil. <laughs> yeah. Should I say something? She read into that way too much. Chosen one! Liner, it's been a while. I heard you were investigating those strong winds. Between that and the incident two years ago, I'm afraid we've caused you nothing but trouble. What happened? I was offered up as a sacrifice to the fake summon spirit of wind, but the Chosen saved me. Oh yeah, the mayor mentioned that. That certainly brings back memories. If Lloyd hadn't disarmed that breaker... And that teacher kicked us around. Hey, how's Lloyd doing these days? I heard some ugly rumors, but I'm sure they're just misunderstandings. Lloyd. We haven't been able to track him down, but Lloyd wouldn't do anything bad. That's a lie! Lloyd killed my parents! Emil. Hey, let's just take it easy now. Uh, so was there something you needed? Ah, uh, yes. I wanted to ask you about the stone dais. You see... Inside the stone dais would mean underneath it. Our studies have led us to believe some sort of facility lies below. Liner, what if we perform the Maiden Ritual? The Maiden Ritual calls on the Summoned Spirit of Wind, right? It is said that the ritual signifies the opening of a door. I'll perform it. It's too dangerous. There are flying monsters around there. Then I'll do it. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Please, show us how the ritual is performed. Marta! Chosen one, Emil, please wait for us at the inn. Liner and Harley, you two will need to leave as well. Emil, can I ask you something? What is it? Is it about Lloyd? Are you some sort of maniac, too? I mean, when you get into battle, you become a totally different person. I have a friend who's really into old ruins, and she's the same way. People call her a maniac. According to Tenebrae, it's because Ratatosk's power has taken hold of me. 
What's Ratatosk? Oh, right. Tenebrae, can you help me out here? I'm surprised she hasn't asked about it before. Well, shall we tell her the story of our journey? Yeah. Then we'll talk at the inn, since it's rather long. So, Colette, just what does going into ruin mode involve? Well, let's see. Oh, it's the Asgard ruins! Emil, state the historical background of this ruin. Uh, um, I... When Cleo III held a ritual to offer a sacrifice to the summoned spirit of wind to quell a storm that had ravaged his kingdom for a week, he did it here! Ugh! Have you learned anything in all these past five years? I'd say that about sums it up. That was sort of terrifying. Really? It's actually quite fun. I can't wait for you to see the real thing. It all began with the withering of the giant Carlon tree. Lord Ratatosk was the guardian of the otherworldly gate, which connected worlds through the giant Carlon tree. So he was the guardian of the giant tree as well. He employed centurions to distribute mana and maintain the balance of the giant tree and the world by using monsters. Until the ancient war caused the giant tree to wilt. The way I heard it, the giant tree dried up during the ancient war, causing Mana to run out. That almost destroyed the world, so Mythos the hero borrowed the goddess Martel's power to split the world into two. Right. Mythos did that to protect the world. But then, after many years passed, he learned that a new Mana-bearing tree would be born. And then, well, a lot of things happened, but eventually a new world tree was born and the worlds became one again. That was... the world regeneration. In the time between the withering of the first tree and the birth of the new one, Lord Ratatosk, along with the eight centurions, became dormant. Now that the world had regenerated, it was finally time for us to awaken. However, a faction within the Vanguard planned to abuse Lord Ratatosk's power. To prevent that from happening, I ran away with Ratatosk's core. Marta! You were explaining everything to Colette? Yeah. Is that a bad idea? No, it's okay. I mean, I still blame Colette for my mother's death. But now I know she's not a bad person. Marta! Allow me to continue. In order to wake Lord Ratatosk from his slumber... I see. So you're looking for the Centurion's cores in order to wake Mr. Ratatosk. So Ratatosk's not a maniac after all. A maniac? <laughs> Don't worry about it. So what do you think Ratatosk will do when he wakes up? He'll put a stop to all the strange weather we've been having and restore the balance of mana. Right. But the world tree we have right now already has Goddess Martell. Oh. The tree Ratatosk protected is gone now. Couldn't he protect it together with the goddess? Good point. They could both work together to protect it. Lady Marta, is the ritual ready? I'm all set. Ready to go whenever. Okay, let's head back to the stone dais then. Okay.
just like that, then like this. Hey, Marta, about the ritual? Don't talk to me right now. I'll forget it. Oh, sorry. <gasps> no, no, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... Don't hate me or anything, okay? No, I... Lady Marta, how were the preparations for the ritual? Um, I think I forgot how to do it. This time we should be okay. Tenebrae, call the winged dragon! Go, my minion. Strike! <laughs> the Garuda's barrier has disappeared. Now's your chance! Lady Marta, hurry and perform the ritual before another one comes. Right. Perform the ritual the last time I was here. Friend. One of Lloyd's friends. <gasps> this didn't appear the last time. Ratatosk's core on Marta's forehead glowed. Maybe that has something to do with it. A centurion's core must be somewhere nearby if Ratatosk's core reacted in such a way. It seems the combination of the ritual and the core had an effect on the stone dais. 
Whatever. If we can snag a Centurion's core while we're in there, all the better. You sound like you're going to rob the place. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? So, what did you think of my performance? Well, it was the first ritual I've ever seen, so I can't really say. No, I mean, you're supposed to say I looked cute or that I was mesmerizing, even if you don't really mean it. Never mind. Uh, I'm sorry. It was really cute. And mesmerizing, too. Yes, that sounded quite sincere. Forget it. I didn't really want a compliment from you anyway. You look relieved. Well, I'm through performing that silly ritual. I've never been good at memorizing little details like that. But you did manage to remember it. Yeah, but now I've forgotten it. Already? 